Hey, what is up guys? Colossnex here, and now I wanted to do a commentary over my original for a strongman competition video. So the video that's on there right now is just kind of all the raw footage. I haven't edited the audio or anything at all. I just kind of put the numbers on the screen and uh, left it in its rawest form possible so that I could see it and that you guys could see it for what it was. So in this first clip, you can see all of us applauding here. These are all the 11 male competitors. There were 13, I believe, that registered, but only 11 showed up. So the first event was an axle clean and press weighing in at 185 pounds. I will say that this bar was very hard to clean. I've been practicing with an axle bar uh, about once a week. That's when I have access to it. And I feel like that bar that I used was a lot grittier than this one. This one was very smooth and uh, slick. So I had trouble kind of cleaning it up and once it was up, you know, this just feels like this mountain of weight sitting on your shoulders and then you have to push it over your head. I was really surprised that I was only able to get two clean reps. You can see in the video here that I was able to get like maybe four other reps over my head. I just wasn't able to lock it out. So in my own training, when I was practicing with the Axa bar, I was able to get about four reps in a row. So my prediction for this event was that I would get four reps, have to put it down and then maybe get two more in. But I was only able to get two in and then maybe four more not so great reps. Looking at this footage now, I probably could have helped myself lock those out if I had dipped under the bar a little bit more, kind of got my head underneath it and then stood up with it with my arms already locked out. That probably would have been some good form that would have helped me do better in this event. I already knew that it was going to be my worst event and I knew that it was gonna be first. So, you know, all my nerves were also playing a part in this. I kind of stepped up to the bar, everybody's watching me barely gotten a proper warm-up in and uh, I'm at least happy that I was able to get it up but I think nerves and um, you know if I had tweaked my form a little bit in my training it could have helped but overall that's about what I expected my strength to be for this event. Next up was the deadlift event. Now <laughs> I kind of misinterpreted what kind of deadlift this was going to be when I had talked to some people that I was training with and when I read the Facebook post it sounded very much like the deadlift would be with a tire behind you, so it'd be more of a frame style deadlift with axle bar handles. So when I showed up and I saw that it was just gonna be a traditional deadlift, but just with an axle bar, I was kind of relieved but also nervous because you know you mentally prepare for one thing, you physically prepare for one thing, and then you get another. But hey, it's not like this is much different from a barbell deadlift, it's just uh, with an axle bar. So the grip is definitely harder, but we were allowed to use straps. You know, I'm not used to using straps. And you'll see here, I'm, I'm putting the straps on. Like I've, I've used straps maybe like two or three times before. I don't really know how to put them on. I traditionally do heavyweight deadlifting with a reverse grip. So one hand over, one hand under. And I didn't even think of that. I, like I was just so focused on getting my straps on right that I forgot that I don't usually deadlift double overhand at this weight. So I mean, I'm surprised I was able to do as well as I did without my traditional grip. The deadlift weighed 420 pounds, I believe. So there's the two tires and then they added, I think three plates at the end of each one. And I'm not sure how much the axle bar weighed, but it total ended up weighing around 420 pounds and I was able to get seven reps. The first five came out fairly clean. The sixth was a bit of a battle and then the last one was just a huge grind of the mind. So you can see that I'm kind of standing here. I knew that I had about 20 seconds left, so I decided that if I was gonna get one more rep, I wouldn't just go into it. I used my time wisely and I rested for about 10 of those 20 seconds. And then once I got to 10 seconds, I got as much rest as I was gonna get and then I went for that last rep. Another thing that I'm not used to is lifting in front of a judge. You know, you're used to kind of going at your own pace, your own speed, kind of taking an extra few seconds if you had to, but you know, you're only supposed to raise it when he tells you to, you're only supposed to drop it when he tells you to. So that was something that I was not used to. It didn't really hinder me, I just had to think a little bit more about, you know, my pausing and my tempo. Also because it's a tire deadlift, so it'd be really easy for you to kind of get momentum by bouncing the tire off the ground and smash out way more reps than you used to once you get momentum on your side. And another thing I didn't think of until after I'm watching this video is that I dropped the deadlift after my last rep. Now, I knew the judges were using points, so I didn't know if I lost any points for dropping it after I got it. I mean, I doubt it, but it's very possible. I sh probably should have lowered it back down to the ground. I know Ed Eddie Hall got screwed out of a world record because he lifted the weight, but he didn't set it back down. He just dropped it. So looking at that now, I probably should have lowered it, but yeah, who knows. I'm still pretty happy that I was able to get seven reps and that I placed fourth in the deadlifts, which isn't actually that bad out of 11 people. 
The third event was the yoke and farmer walk event. So you were supposed to take the yoke 50 feet one way and take the farmer bars 50 feet back. The yoke weighed 485 pounds and the farmers were around 200 pounds a hand. So a total of 400 pounds for the farmers. I was kind of looking forward to this event because I have an athletic background, I've got fast feet, and I knew that I was going to be able to use that to my advantage. And the most I've ever done with the yoke is I believe 500 pounds, so I was pretty confident that I would do well in this event. I was also glad to hear that the yoke was going to be before the farmers because I think that setting up for the yoke right is a lot more important than the farmers because the farmers you can just grab the handles and start going. So as you can see I got under the yoke and I took off no problem. I made great time under that yoke. I could not even believe it. I didn't stagger, I didn't wobble, it didn't tip or drag. I did probably the best yoke of my life at a really heavy weight at a competition. So by far the yoke was my best event. The same cannot be said about my farmers. I was really confident about the weight, probably overconfident, and I grabbed them and I started going. And I was making great speed with my farmers, but I started going, I think, too fast because I started to lose my balance and my knees started to wobble. As you can see in this video, I probably looked like a moose that got shot with a tranquilizer and it was just wobbling until it falls over. So it's pretty brutal that I dropped it only like maybe a couple feet from the finish because I probably would have gotten at least second place in this event had I not dropped it because picking it up and continuing you know that already adds another like five seconds which is like a lot of time when you're competing for time so I ended up around 26 seconds second place got 19 seconds I'm confident I could have got that maybe beaten it but first place was 15 seconds I don't think I would have beaten that so because I dropped it I did not come second place I ended up coming fourth place because I ended up with 26 seconds and third place got 21 seconds. And last but not least, you can't have a strong man competition without Atlas Stones. This was the final event. The stone in front of me there was 230 pounds and the stone just behind it was 200 pounds. So if you couldn't lift the 231, the 200 pound stone was an option. This stone was about the same weight as the stone I had been training with, uh, but the most I had done with the stone I've been training with is about two reps and then I would take a break before I would do more reps. So I'd never really done more than two at a time. I really had no idea how well I was going to do. I was kind of hoping for four reps. That was my prediction for this event. So we had to start with our hands on the bars and then when the judge gives us the go ahead, we started the event. So I have the stone there, got a good grip, came up pretty easy, didn't lap it for very long and got it over. That first rep went pretty good. Second rep, I was kind of bracing myself before every lift. You can't just kind of rip it and go. You got to make sure your form's good. And I lapped it, got it up. That was a tall extension, that second rep. See, I'm already out of breath. Two reps is usually my limit. So getting ready, brace, lifting. Legs look a little bit wobbly here. I don't know why I don't sit back with the stone. That's kind of good form to kind of lap the stone, sit down with it, and then lift it up. I just kind of rep and go because I'm always scared that I'm going to drop it. This is the fourth rep, and I just couldn't do it. I was so tired. I was already lightheaded from getting that third rep up. It took everything in me just to get three. So the fourth one I went for because I was pretty sure I could do it, but I was feeling lightheaded. I was feeling tired. I knew that I was running out of time, so I just said that I wasn't going to do it. But, you know, I tried, and I kind of wish that I had... Like looking back on it now, looking at the video, I wish that I had just tried a little bit harder, maybe tried again, because I knew I probably could have gotten one more rep out of myself for that event, and it maybe could have made a difference in how I placed, but I'm just going to trust what my instincts were at that time. So as for my placement, I ended up placing 8th place out of 11 people. Um, looking at the score sheet, I don't totally understand because two people tied for 2nd place, but then there's no 3rd place, it just skips to 4th. Um, and then one person got fourth, two people tied for fifth, and then it doesn't show a sixth, it just goes right to the seventh, and then one person got seventh, then after me, eight, then nine, ten, eleven. So two people tied for second and fifth. So, I mean, if I look at it this way, even if two people tied for second, two tied for fifth, it doesn't change the fact that there were still seven people that did better than me, even if they tied, so... Yeah, you can play around with the numbers, but overall, I'd say 8th was probably fair based on my performance. And I'm pretty happy with it because I didn't really train with like a ton of time for this event. Like I wasn't really sure if I was going to, if you've seen my past reflection videos, I wasn't really sure and then I decided I would and then I only had like kind of like just 
over a month to prepare for it and get my technique right and stuff like that because I'm still very new to the sport. I'm not really surprised that my clean and press brought me down. A little bit more training probably just would have helped with that. The deadlifts I was pretty happy with. The yoke I'm definitely happy with. The farmers I probably should have practiced just going fast because I was usually focused on my form but I never really focused on like competing and like running as fast as I could with the farmers which did do me in so you know an extra few seconds there could have helped me with the placement you know and if I could have gotten that one more rep with the Atlas Dawn could have bumped me up one placement but overall yeah I'm pretty happy with it and I think this was a good way to break into a new sport because this was a first timers only even though like I said in my reflection video I'm pretty sure that there were a few people in this event that were not first timers or not new to competing in strength competitions but that's besides the point I had a lot of fun I love Strongman and I will definitely be competing again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you Let me know if you like the commentary. I might start doing this for uh, more videos. Stay tuned for more videos. Klaus next out.